Oh yeah, here we go. 2023, I think. It's that Pilot 150E. I don't know what they're calling them now. Silver and black theme, which is pretty cool, but I'd probably like to change that at some point. Uh, it looks like some tools and stuff, I guess, for like strapping down the battery. Yeah, there go the four guards. Miscellaneous hardware and pegs. Okay. see your shock is not connected should be a pretty simple assembly but yeah this is the bike decals already on probably going to remove most of these red ones because i want to do a color change it's that tall seat i like these extra little things here and there that gives it more substance cool exhaust looks like you can remove this and uh i guess make it quieter right here what is this whatever it's sitting on it there sure is. Handlebar assembly. Axle, or the axles themselves look a lot more high quality than some of the other bikes. That good finish. Kind of reminds me of the Kawasaki Japanese brand quality. Brake line here, kind of do some assembling. Looks mostly already assembled, like they get the frame done at some point in a different color. Or we gotta change the brake and oil before we crank it. We gotta get that navy carb. It's nice. These bolts in up here. Definitely wanna change this out. Gotta do some wire plugging in stuff. stand now I can work on it got all the tools laid out that I'll need gave you a couple wrenches here so I just got the sizes off of that and the sockets so I kind of do it once over on everything that's already tight just to make sure they really do a lot of assembling for you so there's not a whole lot to do but assume this is powder coat very nice quality looking feeling That's it for the assembly. Not too bad. A lot of the work was in the front, but uh, taking the rear seat off was kind of a pain. It has like a bunch of screws and stuff back here. So I uh, had to figure that out. I didn't use the manual or anything for any of this, but got the battery connected. Drain the shipping oil and uh, get ready to change that. Put the pegs on and I'll be ready to put some gas in it. 
got the uh, triple clamps, the forks seated. They uh, come up here for shipping, and you gotta like loosen all these and raise them both down. So I did that. Couldn't find where to put the key, so I found online some guy. He had his right here, so I think that's where the key is supposed to go. It's a little inconvenient, but. First initial impressions, uh, a lot of this quality of material looks really nice, like the master cylinder and levers and all that, you know, you got breakaways, the boots and the rubber, you know, everything's got logos, it's really cool. It's uh, ready to fire up. They put a little air in the tires, but, you know, putting this thing together, you kind of really get to see up close the quality differences you know, on this brand versus other brands. So, you kind of just get an idea right here, just like even all the bolts they use, they uh, definitely with the extra mile on the hardware and everything, all the brackets. Got cardboard dust all over it, but you know, you can kind of tell like the machining marks and everything. Little size comparison to the uh, KLX 110L. You can see the YCF. I think it says it's about three inches higher on seat height, which you know could vary depending if you have a high seat on a KLX. But KLX L definitely sits higher than the regular model, so you can kind of tell they're pretty similar in size, even tire size too. YCF definitely has you know that full mod you know, swing arm look to it, you know, like if you were to do that to a KLX 110 or a CRF 110. The handlebars, I think, is probably the biggest difference and, uh, you know, the suspension, but the front inverted forks on the YCF is definitely more noticeable and a lot nicer. It's a little bit higher on the YCF. KLX definitely feels, you know, a lot smaller, but I think that has to do a lot with the handlebars. It hits your knees and stuff when you're turning, and it's just, it feels a little bit more compact, but I think this is a little bit more stretched out. Definitely have some more room and uh, more comfortable area here. All right, I am changing the oil, brake hand oil, before I start it up. And uh, I took an empty quart. It's actually motorcycle oil, 1040. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna buy because I didn't see in the manual what it said to use. I think it said to use uh, whatever brand they promote, but it doesn't tell you how much either. It just says to check the level. I am uh, gonna see how much comes out of it. Just to kind of get a rough idea, I'll probably just go buy a couple quarts of this uh, motorcycle oil for the wet clutch or whatever at the auto parts store. I think the uh, battery is dead because it just does that. So I guess first start will be a kickstart. choke on uh, I just pulled the lever up assume that was you know cold start started up probably like two or three kicks after I took that off runs really smooth though super responsive and you can kind of feel the power too so I mean it smells good 
друзья. Kickstart lever is weird because when you kick it down, it'll also fold back. So you have to like fold it back and then bring it back up. Route's going pretty good. Uh, having a little bit of trouble with downshifting. I think it might be the, uh, you know, just maybe you gotta break it in. Maybe the brake in oil is a little bit still left in there after changing it. But uh, I think it said the manual to ride it for like an hour and, uh, you know, get the, empty the gas tank and change the oil again. So that's what we're gonna do. It definitely rides like a pit bike though, you know, a smaller bike. So it's not the most comfortable for longer rides. Tires kind of feel like they're going like that, you know, on the road, so. Okay, so the battery was dead and, uh, you know, it wouldn't start, but after riding it on constant RPMs, things staying in fourth gear the whole time, just pretty much just riding around in circles. We got a lot of the braking in done. And uh, check it out, electric start. Oh, need that to be on. 